Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at this example here. It is Newton's law related. We are told that a man is pulling a 20 kilograms box with a rope that makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal. If he applies a force of magnitude 150 newtons and a friction force of magnitude 50 newtons is present, calculate the acceleration of the box. So we are dealing with Newton's second law. Newton's second law states that the rate of change of momentum is proportional to the imposed force and goes in the direction of the force. The equation for Newton's law is F is equals to mass times acceleration. The first thing to do is to understand the scenario. So we have a picture, a diagram that demonstrates the man pulling the box and there's an angle between the rope and him and the box. We can represent this nicely in the block diagram and we can represent all the forces that we're experiencing. The normal force acting upwards, the gravitational force acting downwards. We have horizontal forces. This includes the friction force which opposes motion and we have f of x when we look at the Cartesian plane which is basically the applied force represented at the horizontal. Using trigonometry rules we know that cos theta is equal to f of x over f applied. And therefore, this can be easily written as f of x is equal to f applied cos theta. We are given that mass is equal to 20 kilograms. An angle, we can say theta, is equal to 60 degrees. The f applied is 150 newtons. And the friction force is 15 newtons. Newton's. Newton's second law states that the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. Since the man is pulling the box using a rope and there's an angle, we therefore have to calculate the horizontal force, which is f of x. Substituting into this equation here, you should get 75 Newton. Let us calculate the acceleration. If net is equal to mass times acceleration, f of x, subtracting the opposing force, which is the frictional force, this can be equated to mass and acceleration. We have 75 subtracting 15 newtons equated to 20 acceleration. If you make the acceleration subject of the formula, you should have 75 minus 15 over 20. You should get 3 meters per second squared. And that will be your acceleration. I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.